So when you have an image and that is merged with the background right here, then if you were to click on the media node right here, that is the image node, then you get a certain setting right here. But if I were to click on the merge, then you get other setting. So what you can do when you're selecting merge is you can see that you can move uh, the image around interactively right here, just like this. You can go around over here and click and drag it to rotate it around as well. You can work around with the size by using the slider over here in the inspector as well. And you can also go around and work around with the angle. You can flip out the image right here and then you can see that you can apply blending modes over here as well. But we are going to talk about blending modes later on um, uh, in lessons as well. So over here you can see that this is what you have. Uh, you can work around with, let's say, for example, burn-in and so forth right here if there's any other image attached to the background. So if I were to go around over here and then attach it out onto the background, then you can see that there's another image over here. So if I were to go around on the image over here, let me just go around onto this image, then you can go around and apply the blending options as well. As you can see, just like this, you can go around and darken it so that you can see all of the white becomes uh, transparent. You can work around with the uh, gain right here. You can work around with the blend over here, just like this as well. You can work around with color burn and darker uh, color right here, just like this. And then you can see you can wrap it all around as well. Like let's say, for example, size right here, you can wrap it around. And you can see that there's many different things that you can apply right here. You can invert the transformation, you can flatten out and so forth, and experiment with all of the things around. There's like within height references that you can take over here as well. There's like channels that you can work around with as well. So depending on um, uh, whether it is relevant or not, all of these settings can be changed. For the image right here, certain settings are okay, while others are not, as you can see. But if I were to move this, you can see that it's quite uh, it's quite interactive right here as you move it along. So that's how you can go around and utilize the merge node with the image inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.